Well, welcome to another yeah. uh, Thursday evening full live show here with About Beverages. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And uh, this we is what are we do. About we, Beverages. We are. We're that thing. Uh, and this is what we do Thursday evenings. Uh, we go live. We uh, try some uh, different beverages. We talk with all of you, find out what you've been having. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Pop culture, sports, it's, it's music, everything. Simple. Just a very open Boils talk show, today. hanging out, just having a good time and uh, getting some podcasts re- recorded. All this stuff goes up on YouTube now, even the full live show. If you've missed any of the previous ones, guess what? They're right back there. You can go find them. You can go find all of those oh, very, baby. very shortly. Hello to Baker's daughter. Hello to Baker. Oh, look at that. This was still on from, That's right. That's right. You're putting that on. Okay. It was all gone for a minute there. Baker, thank you for the tier two resubscribe. 34 months. Whew. The sunset has unsettled. That has is, been unsettled. That's true. That is a long time. Oh, no, it has been sunsetted. Okay. There's a lot of... <laughs> the sunset has been sunset. You're walking into a lot of Destiny references. Uh, <laughs> Shaku is knee-deep in Gambit. Okay. <laughs> Not a game mode that is a favorite right now. And uh, Debo is making reference to uh, they had started a new thing in the last uh i don't know the last like year or whatever with beyond light that they were like different kind of like in tft where different things like either get better or get worse or whatever else right well destiny said these things you really loved it's kind of hard for us to keep balancing them like all the characters and heroes okay. so they're just not going to get any more powerful so you don't really want to use them anymore because oh. they won't be good anymore you can still okay. look at them. You can still use them in certain things, but if okay. the stuff you really want to use them in, you gotta, they use, our, you gotta use our new stuff. Uh, so they said that, and then okay. now it's been a little bit. They heard the community's kind of reactions. They're probably, you know, they're they're trying things. They're figuring things out, right? Uh, and they got to the point where they were like, they just put out a big post today saying that certain things still are going to be sunset, like really old things oh, are going sunset to be sunset, meaning getting rid of going it. into okay. the past. That's right. Okay. That's right. So sunset going into the past. So that is still going to happen for some things, but there's a bunch of things that we were just about to lose. They're like, you know what? We're not going to do that anymore. Like we can tell you don't like it. Okay. It's getting hard for it. So they have uh, made an adjustment. So that is what uh, they have listened. They've pivoted. Sorry about not having Norm. I realized the last thing we did when we when we did our show last week on this uh, part of OBS was we had everything turned off. So I had everything still turned off when I got on here. Oh, so okay. that's why that did not pop up. I apologize. Oh, okay. But thank you so much again for the resubscribe. That is super, super nice. Very much appreciated. I'm actually going to this. Yes. No, I get the, I do get the sunset reference now. I thought it was just some sort of deep, because I, at first I thought it said had been unsettled and I was like, the sunset has been unsettled. I was like, Oh, that sounds kind of poetic. But that's not what we were talking about. So. Well, especially knowing Debo, or too. Sunsetting. Usually Debo kind of has like some deep Food poetry. Could be food poetry. Could yes. be lots of different things going on. So, yes. you know, like I said, you know, Keith comes in here. You got to remember, Keith hasn't been here in a week. So I haven't been here in a week and things. I do not get, I don't, you know, except for what I learned from you here, <laughs> I do not know an, an awful lot uh, about the, the gaming world for sure. That is true. Yes. So before we get too far into anything else, the main thing, no. we, actually, we actually have a theme for this week. We actually have a theme for we this week. We do have a we theme for We came up with it week. last week. I want to mention it right here off the top. Like I said, if people are new watching the video, like I said, either on YouTube, if you watch us live on Twitch, most Thursday nights, 5.30 p.m. Pacific, uh, 8.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific, 8.30 Eastern, something like that. I don't know. It depends on when we're here. 7.30 Eastern, probably. Seven, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific, yeah. and eventually the times will change anyway. Should I tell you right. six? Should I tell you 5.30 Mountain? Do you want that? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so the theme of this week is St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. So we're actually doing something in time yes. this time. In real time, recording, you streaming along with us and watching us. Obviously, we're, we're a few weeks early. But by the time we get this recorded, we get it put together, we get it up, it'll be oh, probably a couple of weeks in advance of St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And um, maybe, we, maybe we provide you with some information to make a purchasing decision. Who knows? But we thought we'd at least try to, you know, get tied into the beverage calendar a little bit and and have a theme here so yeah and it's actually everything we have today has to do with i you know uh ireland st patrick's day all that kind of stuff and we'll get to all the be- if you hit the beverage command in chat like i said if you're here live you're more than welcome to do that and see what we're all going to have um but uh but yeah that is uh, that is the plan for the evening and depot so cracks gonna- open a cold brew probably a actual cold brew coffee oh i see okay all right. Let's see, this is not a happens. bottle see, of cold brew. See, okay. I hang out with Debo, and sadly, I'm in his head. And it's going to add a little bit of rum to it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, probably the cold beer. You wouldn't be adding rum to it. <laughs> Although <laughs> maybe we're combining beers together. Maybe a, a, a rum with with a beer with rum in it is something 
besides gross. It's probably an actual drink, I'm <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. Bottom dollar is the only motivation to play Gambit. Yeah, I would agree. That is a pretty good weapon. And uh, that, and if you still want or care about the pinnacle, those would be the only two reasons. It's not <laughs> a good drink. Yeah. Um, all right. So, so what have we got here? I'm going to start pouring this. Let's get a picture up on the screen. So this is a... I've, Smithix. I have been saying Smithwicks all day. Right. Well, because that's how it looks to us who pronounce uh, mm. the, the TH like that. Uh, but in reality, I believe the pronunciation is Smithix. So we'll be saying Smithix. 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 Uh, and unbeknownst to me, like I said, when uh, you said, hey, I found one of these, I'm going to bring this over too. And like I said, the, the other beverages that we have going on. Uh, I was like, oh, yeah, I've heard of that. I only thought they had one thing. And all of a sudden today I'm picking up, you know, graphics for the stream and everything else to getting stuff ready. And also I was like, oh, oh God, they do more than, <laughs> just, they do more than just one thing. And so I had to immediately quickly text Keith and find what, out which one Which one was. do you have? Yeah. Which one do you have? Trader Joe's gets in uh, two extra uh, Irish beers this time of the year. This and Harp, which we're going to have later, uh, are, are, the, are those two. We carry Guinness year round. You can get these everywhere. In fact, Total Wine, I think, has them for much cheaper than... Than what we're selling them for. I think oh, okay. Were, that link I sent you, I think they were six ninety nine. We've had them for like eight forty nine or something like that. So, a thick Sammy would go great with that. Oh, maybe. maybe. Oh, absolutely. Well, possibly it might. Make I'm sure this the better. sandwich would be fine. Yes. I don't know. I have not had one of these in forever, if at all. Like I think the one I was thinking of. I guess this was the one I was thinking of. I suppose I. They have a pale ale and they also have a blonde ale. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so this is what we're going to start off with. And then we are actually going to be, uh, we're going to taste a harp and a Guinness draft, which we right. both had, but we're just taste them, you know, like I said, during refresh. the podcast. It's been a while. We're well, not for Guinness necessarily, but yeah, the refresh others. our memories on those two things. And then we're actually going to make what's called a half and half. Right. It is not like I said, some people may look at it and immediately think like, oh, that's a black and tan, which kind of a little bit was my misconception right. uh, when we were discussing this last week. But if you do a black and tan, it has to be bass and Guinness. If you do Harp Lager, which we have in Guinness, that's called a half and half. If you do this beer right here, the Smittix Red Ale, and a Guinness, it's called a Blacksmith, which is my favorite title in Destiny. Or is it a... Tied it all back together. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, there's a uh, character in TFT who one of his traits is Blacksmith. Look at this. But Perfect. since it's Smittix, would it be a Blacksmith? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be a Blacksmith. <laughs> a Blacksmith. A Blacksmith. I like it. It's very good. You and the ale are color coordinated. Baker, you're correct. Like I said, yeah, this is a red ale and I am wearing my red shirt. I did not even think of that. That is amazing. We were going to wear green, but then we'd just blend right into our green screen. Yeah, you wouldn't even see that. But we'd just be floating heads, right? Yeah, the green screen is green. And at least this is chalkboard green. Chalkboard not green. your normal St. Patrick's Day green, right. but it's, it's at least in the ballpark, as they say. In the green family. Malty and little copper penny. I get in the aroma. Like I said, nothing yep. uh, super exciting. We always nope. we don't start off with a podcast. We always just start off with something that we're having. If you are new here to the show, uh, like I said, and we just kind of enjoy chat with you guys for a while, and then we get to the podcasting a little later on, yep. which will feature all those beers. And the closer tonight is actually I bought a bottle of Jameson, and it is one of their cask editions, and it is their stout cask edition. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later, exactly what that is and what that means. We have previously done one of their other ones. If you go into the archives at aboutbeverages.com or on YouTube, uh, you can uh, search for it. Uh, if you look for Jameson uh, Caskmate, I believe is yeah. uh, what we call it. But that one was an IPA edition. IPA. And it was good. Mm -hmm. I remember, I remember we, we picked up on some of those notes in there. It was but there was, yeah, there was a little bit of something different than just regular Jameson, right. which I, I have had. Usually in an Irish car bomb or something like that, perhaps, which I have all the ingredients for. <laughs> okay. Is that wrong to say that now? I don't think so. I One mentioned my... that the other day on stream and someone said, someone said, someone said, I'm Irish. I'll allow it. I said, okay. okay. <laughs> it's like, so. Well, and I've heard one of my coworkers said, you don't want to go to Ireland and order that. Oh no. Then you could really be in trouble. Oh my God. No, <clears> that'd be terrible. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, but no, I, no. it's funny. I overheard a customer saying to one of my coworkers today, "Yeah, this beer when it's really cold is great." And I, I think that's is that damning with faint, what, what? What is that? That's uh, well, they don't think so. No, they don't. No, that's true. But someone like me hears that, and that seems like you're damning. You're like masking little, all the flavors. Yeah, it has to be really cold. Yeah. There's nothing like a, a cold beverage. But oh yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, it was interesting. A hundred bottles of beer, and <laughs> you would drink it. Oh my god, the, that'd be a lot of beer. But yeah, I don't know beer. if, uh, yeah, that would not be, I don't, th I don't think that would be praise. 
Uh, actually say that you want it properly chilled right but not ice cold yeah if that's the only way it tastes good then unfortunate uh last year when i first followed i thought this was just a destiny 2 channel now i joined it. there's a drinking podcast type thing going on not complaining <laughs> <laughs> that's what i also i was like <laughs> yeah right when you had stopped by and done that also i was like man he's in for something different next week <laughs> uh but that's pretty funny but yeah, this is a... Uh, well, and that's what you do most of the time. Most of the days you're on it, it is a gaming, uh, uh, yeah, streaming. Uh, but when on Thursday nights, this is what we do. We get together. Originally, About Beverage just started well, back in 2008, almost 13 years ago. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, what, that's what we did. We just recorded podcasts, audio, and then it went to video. And then it's evolved uh, the last uh well actually now we're going on three years of doing this this will be almost three years wow yeah. so the, yeah, uh, i think it's i think i looked and at least affiliate i think we actually hit affiliate uh, it'll be three years like sometime in march I, i'd have to look okay. most you probably just tell by by uh lucky's uh subscription i think i asked him what i was like i was like has it been three years yet and lucky's, <laughs> lucky's like no i'm only at 35 or whatever or something so that is uh getting up there but yeah a lot of this started uh, like, or always started because of uh like I said, we used to work together a long time ago. Then we did not, uh, but we've obviously we've always been in contact because we live in the same city. But uh, we just were like, we want to get together. We want to do have some of these conversations that we always used to have at work, that we always used to have at family get-togethers. And then we wanted to bring in everybody else and and kind of have a community of people that wanted to hang out and and uh, like I said, have these same kind of discussions. Let inform us, like give us. Not, you know, like I said, you know, right. we're not we're not the gatekeepers of the knowledge of of all this stuff or, or tastings. Nope. Like I said, we were always very interested. Um, and actually, speaking of that, <laughs> uh, it was really cool. Um, what was it? I was looking today. I always try and go through at least every couple of days. Usually I'm on, uh, you know, YouTube checking things out, looking for your comments, which I've appreciated. Uh, and someone finally was nice enough to actually write back on the Mezcal uh podcasts that we did the trader joe's one that's oh okay been doing hot where we had the you know the one person just say like oh this is terrible and then they don't and then i ask them like well what are the good ones you know like right me know. no finally someone today mentioned like three good they're like oh well, i would like to wreck it and it was someone completely different like this one was okay but i'd recommend it and i was like thank you very much you know we'll look oh, these up cool. and i think two of them the person you mentioned had either been at trader joe's or he ever he's at or something else they were not Trader Joe's branded, but he was able to find them there. We have another one in Trader Joe's. So I could, uh, I'll look that up while we're chatting here. There's some, there's some conversation going I on. I know. There's a lot going on here. We like to rotate content each season. Yeah, exactly. Every season happens to be about a week for us, though, Debo. You're beyond pissed at Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine is just a game you kind of get pissed at. I never really liked that game. Oh. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest. I was never a huge Sunshine fan. I've watched a lot of it, and I've played even less. Um the bright at least content has been <laughs> it's not content it's been unsunsetted it's been un yeah you're a huge sunshine fan i do well, we're all allowed to have our own opinions when it comes to video games what everyone likes is not, i just do not like that game uh, are, we, are we talking mario like no 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 yep okay yeah one of the later games uh youtube that was where i was going <laughs> that's funny I'm not even close to being able to drink and I'd still have the stream on the side while I'm doing work. See, there you cool. go. Just have it. That's exact. And then whenever you can, and we don't only drink alcoholic beverages. That's true. That's Point the that majority out. of them, but we do, uh, we, we do sodas. We do water. We do tea. We've I mean, we do all kinds of stuff. So, but yes, predominantly that. <clears throat> If they ask, it's a non-alcoholic. This beer. is yeah. a low alcohol beer for sure. This is four and a half. Is it four and a half? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Fake Japanese whiskey. Can I uh, Those are the ones I did not reply to. Can I look at all comments? Held for review. Do we have some held for review? No, that's nice for a change. Um, where did I put that? Okay, well, it must be under the Miss Gala. Let's go look for the searcher channel. No, 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 no. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Go back here, searching, searching. I'm trying to get Yoshi to this remote island, and it's really annoying. I love sunshine, but it's janky. <laughs> Until you find that one shortcut and you kick yourself for forgetting. Yeah, a lot of that stuff. There's so many shortcuts in there. I, I don't know. Just it was their first or that that attempt at that open world game just did not work for me. Yes, we are brothers. That is correct. Oh, and pockets joined. Wow, there's all kinds of. Oh man, <laughs> but boats. So many boats. It's all content. Good evening, Pocket. Work must be over, at least for now. That's Pocket. good. How's Glad it going, to hear that. Pocket? 
Glad to hear that. Um, yes, yeah, we are we are brothers <clears throat> for uh, most of our lives. Oh wait, no, all of our yeah, lives for most of our lives. <laughs> we are brothers. Oh, I don't want to look at it in here. All of your life, not all of my life. Oh, that's a good. Ooh, that, that's that's a, That's an actually <laughs> funny little bit right there. Uh, you still searching for the the feedback? Well, I'm trying to find. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now I've got. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, I always think of Wario too. Why? I'm not listening to. Okay, I'd recommend these. Well, okay. Thirty, forty of price range, much. Uh... Oh, cool. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. So that was, and then. So they liked it. Oh yeah, Stone oh, Phillips. Stone Phillips was angry with us. Stone Phillips is a dick. Yeah. <laughs> In our comments. <laughs> the feedback oh, I can give him the feedback. Th- I'm going to give him a thumbs down. <laughs> um, I thought there was another one. That one. Yeah, we have one that... Oh, okay, uh, maybe here... Uh, See, so these, they, she said they found it, their lo- or this person oh, found okay. local Trader Joe's in California. Bozal, oh, so there's uh, a couple Union. there. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So there's several there. So I don't know if any of those, would you like to back that feed or are you going to feed that back to the delete button? Yeah. I about wanted to hit the delete button on that. It's like, all right. Yeah. That's, that's fine. You come on out. Video, I appreciate it. Come on out and talk to us here. Yeah. About that. But, um, yeah, no, we have another one, and that's you know, and the, the my coworker who's who was a bar manager and restaurant manager for years before he worked at Trader Joe's, he said that it was a good he he said it was a good training wheels mezcal. He said so it was kind of like an intro, but there were definitely better Hence, ones out there. So. It was my first mezcal, so that's nice. It was, yeah, that my, mine too, I think so. Um, mine too. So we have one, we have one at work, but it's not one of those. So I know, um, you know, what we should do is uh, Westbound. They have. A lot of mezcals and actually one of the workers down there once when i was talking with them she's like yeah that's kind of our thing we we carry oh, a lot okay. of this so maybe we should look for one of those down there or um get a recommendation from from tap and bottle from the folks at tap and bottle yeah like I said mezcal we I go there like to sometimes do, we, yeah, on occasion yeah we did like I said mezcal i'd like to do and then uh like we keep talking we keep threatening uh, as we <laughs> they used to someone i used to work with used to say they're threatening to do something they're threatening to keep threatening to do a uh a uh, sake or something like that at some oh, yeah. point. And I keep almost buying one because Tap and Bottle has one of the ones that's there is, it's lo, it's actually local here in Arizona, Southern Arizona specifically, um, but it is one of the uh, actually the top sake producer outside of japan they have one is in arizona they have won gold medals out and it's, and hmm. that was literally the award was like if you're not in japan this is the best one to get and oh it's wow. literally here in southern arizona it's like literally called arizona sake which sounds like wow that's stupid that's <laughs> but but no it's just, yeah and he makes several a couple different kinds a couple and a couple different ways and they've got it here i'd say that youtube comments are about 75 percent troll and 25 percent constructive criticism depending on topic of course Wonder if that beer would go nicely with gravy and biscuits. Oh, I was waiting because Pocket's in and Debo's heroes. I was wondering when the food chat <laughs> was going to start, but I don't know. <clears throat> um, this is fine. This is kind of better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Yeah. It's just kind of a little malty. This would be better colder. <laughs> yes. This needed to be ice cold. Uh, malty, uh, a yeah. little, little copper penny, like kind of that kind of metallic thing going on in there because that's kind of when you yep. get the, the English, the different water, you know, Ireland and stuff. You get Easy. It's like four and a half percent, so... Yeah. A good starter, which is what we've used it for. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. Would cool. you wouldn't actually buy this though, like of No. 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 Just no. yeah. Just not my thing. So. No. Those are the four and a half percent things I'd rather drink. Even on St. Patrick's Day, I'll drink <laughs> different beer. <laughs> yeah, even on St. Patrick's Day. I might have a Guinness or something else uh of the darker uh, variety maybe but and and there are other i'm sure other good irish beers it's, it's for sure uh, yeah so <clears throat> your original <laughs> trainings and creds are in the coffee industry correct yes that is correct yes that's what we did uh, for many many years uh being in the coffee industry that is 100 percent. she didn't correct. forget that did she I, did she just remember <laughs> okay good <laughs> yeah no we did we did uh yeah we we were in coffee for a very long time well, that is correct i almost did i double did I double my years in the coffee industry over you? 
I had uh, I was almost tw- 11 years. Okay. I was there 23 and change. Then, yes, you did. 24. Almost. I think I was on my 24th year or whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> but he's That's actually right. training me. My coffee grinding skills are getting back. Oh, good. I'm, yeah. You reached out to me the other day. We were talking the other day. You're like, man, either this coffee isn't good or it's getting really bitter or my grinding skills are bad. And I was like, you grinding a little fine? He's like, yeah, it's going a little fine. <laughs> so, That'll do it. Uh, no more. for. He's claiming all he could find at one point was Folgers crystals. So he was having to resort to drinking that. And I was like, I'd rather just drink water. Like, I'm not going to Folgers. Drink that. Yeah, please stop. It's not the best part of waking up. It is not. It's full. It's when Folgers isn't in your cup. That's actually the best part of waking up. You're like, oh, not Folgers. Thank God. It's funny though. 11 years, almost 11 years at Arbuckle. But last Sunday was 16 years for me at Trader Joe's. Wow. And I was telling people that my Trader Joe's uh, career can now drive. It's now eligible for, <laughs> for a go. license. So that's yeah. pretty good. So six, but 16. That didn't, that didn't seem possible. But you have 23 at Arbuckle. That's, yeah. that was a, that's amazing as well. Dang. And uh, what? Almost 13 years for about beverages. So, hey. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Almost added about beverage. Yeah, that's we've got a lot of things that have been going on here for a very, very long time. Some good traditions. So Mm-mm. for new people, of course, those no, are always course. good no, things no, to we bring know up. We why you were doing chat. that. That was just funny. <laughs> always good to mention all that kind of stuff <laughs> that we just uh, not that not that it, like, I think that definitely was the wonderful basis that, that got us started and that you know once you have that one thing that inspires you to start learning more about anything whether it's you know science or you know science. Like how you taste or how you know cooking or anything like whatever that inspiration is that's the great platform that gets you going to everything else and that's what coffee was for us and being Starts in that industry. the journey yeah like i said understanding what you're tasting and you know being willing to describe something and not you know a lot of times uh what gets a little you know too uppity for a lot of people is you know you start i get notes of blueberry with apricot and punch yes. like that's great sometimes it's I phenolic, get those things, and yet the, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's great like I said, that's sometimes true, we so. get those things and we'll mention them but a lot of times you're like this reminds me of a ballpark beer. like it's something like super generic like and then i think a lot of times that hits more of a home run with people right. when you are expressing something that is a little bit more uh like within your neighborhood like or yeah. within your you know realm of like what you've had or toward an experience that then other people might have like right. some people you know used to say like oh this reminds me of this and that when I was on the farm or this, you know, you'd right. say, you know, you may have some reference to something that I don't have just because, you know, you're an old man or something like that. I don't no, know. It's true. It very well could be. No, most people actually I used to drink water out of the hose for some reason. I used to drink water out of the hose. And you've mentioned that. I've mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> so that, no, I, that's what de- the first taste I had a decaf yeah. coffee. I, I, I told Denny that I was like, I said, it tastes like when I used to drink water. And so there's what, you know, what, what is a hose made of, you know, all that kind of yeah, stuff. The plastic and the, and the, and the, metal yep, and like some yep. of those, right, exactly. But, it probably was not great decaf coffee because we've had very good decaf coffee. So I'm assuming <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> to Devo's question, is there anything that doesn't go well with biscuits and gravy? Mm. I don't know if I'd want to drink like a red wine with biscuits and gravy. I would be my first choice. Maybe true, okay. True. Beverage wise. Yeah. 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 Urine. <laughs> would you like a side of urine with that escargot there you go uh, As, yeah. so weird fact though i actually do the, at least so i was about to say i do actually like escargot but what i like is the one place that i've had it and the preparation they do which is like a lot of cheese and butter and like all the mm. other things and then that little earthiness just happens to be in the middle it's probably just an afterthought that it's actually a snail <laughs> that indeed sounds nasty. Yeah, it does. It is that is, does not sound good at all. Escargot and biscuits and gravy. Mm-mm. Oh, what if the meat component of the biscuits and gravy was escargot? Might it be expensive? Oh biscuits god, that would gravy. be yeah. biscuits and escargot gravy. Escargot. That would be expensive. But yeah, that is the yes. only time I've ever had it is at this one restaurant we got it. Is I always like trying when I go out like when we used to do uh Escar gravy, there you go. Oh. Now, now you've got something there. Why don't I have that as a? Why is it down there? There you go. There it is. Uh, Escar gravy, I like that. I always like uh, going out, like when we would do the more expensive, like if we did something for the anniversary or something like that, and picking something I normally wouldn't have, like as the appetizer. Like usually my meal, I need to make sure that that's a solid choice. Right. But like I always like picking something you know different. Like you know, I know when we've gone to. Like I said, the steakhouse, you know, here in town, usually we'll get the little Carpaccio. Have you ever had Carpaccio? Uh, Antonio's Carpaccio? No. Yeah, uh, no. Raw, Carpaccio. Basically raw, like tenderloin. It's raw Oh, steak. no, I have not had that. It's raw t- And they give you like a little like, it's almost, uh, what's the, 
what's the classic attempt like a bruschetta like kind of thing so you get that kind of piece of bread and then oh you the get, and crusty then you, bread okay. yeah you get that little crusty piece of bread and then you you know you put that on top of it and then there's like capers and cheese and other stuff and you just eat that it's it's delicious i think it's delicious I not had that yeah like i said i know it's probably well i know you're usually more of a well done kind of guy so yes if i'm gonna... going completely the other way but right. it's different because it's a completely different flavor it's not right. so you might right. uh but yeah we like to and we try that and we love them now we get that like all the time when we've gone there um but yeah i've never been able to get the escargot again I, every time we go there i'm like oh should we get and they're like damn it i kind of liked it <laughs> I gotta go sometime with maybe like Joe or something like that. And I had it to get years him to be and years ago when Buck and I went to it. It's now the Chef Elisa's. Can't okay. remember what it was before. It was something else before, and we went there. God, that was a long time ago. But I think I may have had that there. Oh, really? But it was like very garlicky and oily, and yeah, there was a lot of other great flavors going. Yeah, on Yeah, and then so. it's like just kind of it's God. it's the balance of all of those other great things that you like anyway. Right. And then you know it's like the old joke, like wow, this sauce is so good, I'd eat it on a shoe. It's probably oh, yeah. almost like that. Like right. the escargot is the shoe and then you put <laughs> everything else on there. Coat every, yeah. Yeah, you just coat everything else because it's, yeah, it's like Parmesan and butter and garlic and then, you know, like I said, other cheese and then it's, yeah, that at the base. And if it's done right, it's not chewy at all. Like I said, it, it does, right. like I said, it's not hard to eat. And then, yeah, it just kind of adds a little earthiness to it, um, which I think is good. I liked it. I like it. I like it. I liked it a lot. Um, all right, should we grab our beers? Should we start? Because that's going to so be kind of the, like a big thing going on. Yeah, here. yeah. No, we should probably get get into that. A bit that. of a production. Um, all right, that. let me get to this here off the screen. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to go grab uh, a few beers. What are we grabbing? We're grabbing some Harp Lager. Yes. We're grabbing some Guinness Draft. Uh, we're grabbing some actual pint glasses. Uh, so we're using right. proper glassware. That's kind of why I used these glass. This glassware tonight. This does not feel like a, a Teku glassware kind of night. No, um, no, it doesn't. So we've got those. So both of those, so we're going to try those individually. We've had them before. We're not going to take like a lot of time on them and do like, you know, just be like, oh, you know, because I don't want this podcast right. to go like 30 minutes long when right. I edit it. Uh, that And then the main feature will be that we're actually going to make a half and half, which is pouring the two together uh, and then they stay separated in the glass and it looks looks really neat. It is actually kind of a cool effect. Yes. Um, and so we're going to use a cool little, uh, uh, it's called a loggerhead uh, that sits right in the top there. The, it's like a little turtle shell, actually. Oh, yeah. And we're going to use that to uh, to to make that magic happen. Loggerhead? That's what it's called if you turn over on the bottom. Oh, okay. I think Zaku Logger. called me that when we were playing Destiny oh, today. Oh, a loggerhead? Yeah, I thought oh. it Now at least I know he was talking about a tool that you oh, use okay. in the kitchen. I feel a little bit better about that. All right. We're going to listen to some Harris Heller, and we will be right back. Well, good. We're back. We're back. Slowly, Thank surely. you, Harris Heller, for entertaining us. For keeping us all entertained, keeping our auditory senses engaged. Okay. I don't know. Go ahead. I don't know. I'm done. I'm spent. I don't know what. <laughs> A certain, oh, I don't know what. A certain, oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, know what. what. Oh, man. Ireland's most popular ale was what we just had, that Smithwick's Ales. If you guys ever want to know what we're having, what we have had today for the podcast, always the Beverage Command is a great place to go. Um, and uh, yeah, that was what we had, the Sm Smithwick's. Smithwick's? Smithwick's? I believe it's pronounced Smithwick's. So you don't pronounce the W? No. Oh, that's weird. Smithwick's. Fascinating. <laughs> Absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Smittix. 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 Okay. All right. Smittix. Smittix. All right. We're done saying that. <laughs> no more for the rest of the evening. Sorry. Um, yeah. Well, we might accidentally. Oh, damn it. Uh, we'll just say that first beer we had. We'll first just call beer it that. We had. There you go. That is exactly what we'll say. Um, that one. I need that button. Uh, so we don't need her anymore. Oh, so here. So anyway, we had uh, talked about last week. We kept mentioning black and tan, black and tan. Right. Uh, and I uh, just assumed uh, that it was pretty much always uh, Guinness and then kind of anything else. Like I assumed always kind of bass. Uh, I thought it could be harp because obviously they make the, you know, they're involved right. with harp. <laughs> harp is part of their company. Um, so I thought, you know, it was one of those things. But technically, which so we were going to be calling it that for the rest of the evening, is called a half and half is what we're going to have. Half. Smith Wooks. That, I don't know what that Smith looks. I, I don't think that I don't think you say it like that either. <laughs> nice try though. Um, so yeah, the half and half is uh, it's Guinness Draft and it's the Harp Lager which we have. If you want a chocolate covered cherry, that's Sam Adams Cherry Wheat in Guinness. 
If you want a black and tan, that's Guinness and Bass, like we just and said. And Bass is an ale, whereas Harp is the, the lager. But you can have okay. a Black Castle, which is Guinness and Newcastle Nut Brown Ale. You can have a Black Smith, which is the Guinness and the, oh, Smithwick's Premium Irish Ale. So that's what we just had, right, in theory? Yes. Red Ale, Irish Ale? Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Say it like Stewie does Cool Whip. Smithwicks. 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 I want to with my Smithwicks. Cool Whip. Uh, and then there's also Midnight in the Garden, which is Guinness, Draft, and uh, Hoe Garden. And I think that's it. So as long as you have Guinness, you can, you can pair it with something. Yeah. Yes. So there's... <laughs> none of these were terrible, but some were definitely more enjoyable than others. If I were ranking them, I have to say, so people like The Blacksmith, Midnight in the Garden, Half and Half is Third. Hey, that's funny. It's right okay. in the middle. Right in the middle. Kind of right in between there. What's the difference between ale and lager? I don't understand any of this alcohol language. Keith, you got that. Black and tan, black castle, chocolate covered chair is your least favorite. That's a good guess. I, well, I will do the gen- generic and then you'll fill in the more details because you have actually brewed beer and you know more about this. Uh, the difference between an ale and a lager actually is the type of yeast that is used. And flavor profile wise, I've heard it like if, if you're a wine drinker, I've heard people say that if you're a red wine drinker, you'll be more liking uh, you'll you'll like ales more because it's that um that heartier sound or that heartier flavor whereas um uh, if you're a white wine drinker it's going to be more of the the crisp uh taste of a of a lager that you're going to like in general that's kind of for people who don't know beer but do know wine and so actually so this uh drink that we're going to make has actually a lager and an ale Mm-mm. so it's got both it's it got has, both uh, as sammy hagar would say The best of both worlds. Nailed it. Well, you said Sammy Hagar, so I didn't think of Van Halen yeah. or Van Hagar. So Van I was thinking, Hagar. I was like, three lock box, uh, <laughs> only one way to rock. I, I was like, I was, I was thinking of three Sammy Hagar box. songs. I was thinking of Sammy Hagar songs. So. Shame on Google. <laughs> yeah, the way it phrased the answer, it was like pulling multiple pieces from the same article and it put sentences together. So right. that's, that's my fault for skimming it quickly, though. So, yeah. Never is, again is shall ale, we skim Is ale top or bottom fermenting? Ale is top. Okay, we've got it yes. now. There and go. warmer Perfect. temperatures. And warmer temperatures. That is correct. We yes. were querying the info. Yeah. Query. What is a query? I have a query. <clears throat> cool whip. Interesting query, man. If you had said Hannah Montana, then I would have totally gotten the best of both. <laughs> you could have gone that route with Hannah Montana. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Should we get to things and stuff? Yes, we should. All right. We are going to record a podcast. Uh, when we do that... We do take down a few things uh, from the uh, stream there. A little bit there. of stuff. Yeah, a little bit of stuff, a little bit of things. We take down things. all this kind of information up here. Like These will be going up on YouTube, as does our full shows now. Like I said, so those are going up now all in, there. in their entirety. Uh, but if you just want these little podcasts, they go up separately. If you just want to watch uh, exactly what we've been having lately, uh, you can check that out uh, separately. And so that's kind of why we just clean this up for those things. Things and stuff, stuff and things. <laughs> All the things. Franks and beans. Franks and beans. <laughs> Actually, we just watched, speaking of the Fairly Brothers, we watched uh, Me, Myself, and Irene last night. Not their best. It was... But has some funny stuff. It's kind of like, I, you know what? I've watched on and off some Me, Myself, and Irene lately, too. And like I like am noticing more now, I think my uh, tolerance of average comedy was more accepting back then or something like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I watch them now, and like, there's certain pieces, but it's like... It's like a bad Saturday Night Live episode. It's like, oh my God, they stretch this out way too long. Of me, myself, and Irene? And something about Mary. And just like, oh, really? Oh. It. I'm, like, I'm like, oh, this is funny. And then I'm like, oh my God, I just like, come something on. Something about Mary. So it's like, that one's like definitely one of the better ones. I think Dumb and Dumber is still probably their best, like to be oh, honest. Oh God, yeah. That's great. Um, but, but yeah, like, we were just watching. And it's like the first like 20 minutes of me, myself is very hilarious. It's very raunchy. It's very dirty. It's, it's hilarious. Right. And then there's a huge bit in the middle where you're just like, Oh my God, this yeah. is, I'm tired of him like switching and like trying to fight people again. And right. what, like, okay, that was funny. This little, and then the very end is, is pretty good. Like I had forgotten about it at the very end. Spoilers for a movie. That's what 30 years old now or <laughs> yeah. whatever. But the very end when he's like trying to save her on the bridge yeah. and <laughs> He shoots his thumb off. Where's my thumb? I had forgot. I I literally laughed out loud. I thought it was so, yeah, because he's like he does something and he shoots it and he's like ah, and he's like screaming. He's like, where's my thumb? <laughs> Just goes away. Where's my thumb? So he gets it shot off. <laughs> that movie has a split personality. Debo, that it does. Damn it, it does. You're correct. Hundred <laughs> percent correct. 
Uh, all right, so we're going to record this pod. This podcast is going to be kind of broken up a little bit too, so we will have time to chat with you. Normally when we're doing these, as we're kind of analyzing, getting our little uh, bits of information out, uh, we don't really read chat as much. We're still seeing it, and we will get back to it as soon as we can, but since we're going to edit this, it saves my editing uh, fingers and brain if these are like a, <laughs> if we do these a little bit better. Uh, and they, they usually always go very well for the most part, uh, except for last. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but no, they, they always get, but we will be breaking this up a little bit more because we're going to be trying one beer. We might talk with you guys and then we'll try another one and then do this other piece. So that we shall. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. I think everything does not table except for that. Okay. Let's start with the, then we're not people have no idea of everything that's right. here. I know. Yeah. Like I have other cameras. I'll start setting up cameras and you guys can start using channel points to like <laughs> turn on, turn on table cam for table like 10 cam, minutes yeah. or something like that. And just have it be <laughs> looking down on everything. Going to try some mixing and measuring. You're going to eyeball it. No, we're going to, we're pretty much going to eyeball it, but we have a, a device that's actually going to help. <laughs> put down the rum. You put down the rum and start watching. <laughs> all right. Since we're always recording, we're ready. We're to go always recording. It. <clears throat> that's true. Oh, and actually, we're going to do that one. Let me get all this so I don't grab the wrong thing. That was my glass. Okay. Crotch cam. We've talked about that. <laughs> But not necessarily our crotches. It'd be like close-ups oh, of like famous people's famous, crotches. Famous crotches. Yeah, just there like put up, and you'd have to guess. Yeah. You could oh, do predictions oh, about whose okay. crotch that is. It's like it's like wow, Angela Lansbury. <laughs> and there are a lot of pictures of her crotch floating around on the internet. <laughs> oh, I don't know, <laughs> oh, man. It won't just be murder she's writing about. <laughs> hey oh, today's crotch cam is brought to you by Captain Morgan Black Spice Rum. <laughs> God, little Captain inside that. Oh, sorry. oh stop, wow. stop. Oh, oh, hey. All right, let's get. You got to get to put the disclaimer on the channel. That's right. So. I think I always have it at that because technically, since we're having alcohol. Oh, <laughs> that's true. So we actually had a little planning that went on for this. We did, and we're actually going to have a. Uh, a a holiday relevant uh, podcast go up hopefully well before the holiday. Oh, definitely. This will go up next week be. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We are very excited. We uh, came up with some ideas last week. We noticed uh, St. Patrick's Day was up on the calendar. We we're like, oh, okay, maybe we could do something for that. Uh, and we thought what more classic thing to do than to be uh, grabbing some beers from Ireland and making a mixed beer with them. Yeah. And that's what we've got for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverages that will make one beverage that we are about today uh, are the uh, Guinness Draft and the Harp Lager. Uh, we're going to try them individually and then we're going to uh, combine them together and we're going to make a half and half. Yes. We were under the. Uh, delusion that they were that this could actually just be called a black and tan, which guess someone could but i guess they'd be wrong they would because, be wrong uh, the <laughs> black we and tan uh actually involves uh guinness with bass ale uh but we were doing guinness with harp harp lager so we're gonna have a half and half so this is a half and half so yeah bass ale and guinness that is a black and tan uh there's many other different uh, beverages you can have we'll actually have a link uh, to an article i found that was really interesting they had six different beverages that you could make that are kind of uh, mixing the way we were about to uh, with Guinness uh, Draft specifically uh, to make some different flavor profiles. So definitely check out in the comments below, either at our website or here on YouTube. Uh, spoiler alert, though, they all use Guinness. So if you are going to make one, yeah. just make sure you at least have some Guinness on hand. <laughs> make sure you at least have some Guinness on hand. So we're just going to taste uh, these two separately very quickly and just kind of know what those flavor profiles are before we make the final beverage. So, uh, yeah, this is, I have to hold it in front of my shirt. <laughs> it is super light, super clear. Yes. This is probably going to be a lager in every sense of the word. Uh, well, we hope so. Yeah, well, <laughs> we hope at, least, so. <laughs> at least that's what they say. Definitely. Oh my. Definitely a classic. Uh, <laughs> what's the phrase we like to use for this kind of aroma? Uh, are you are you going ballpark on there? hundred percent. I'm going yes. ballpark. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's just that classic, just you know, Budweiser, just that lighter lager yep. flavor. It likes a little bit of some sort of grain in there, uh, but nothing, you know, nothing a lot. No, not, nothing too exciting. <clears throat> It's honestly better than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like, it's a uh, was slightly uh, lemony, a little more refreshing, and I actually didn't mind the finish. On that. <laughs> I did not think I was going to say that. I was ready to go like, "Yep, that's that. Like, that's that's okay." <laughs> that's all right. That's more okay than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to that tell is you the extremely truth. all right. Um, like nothing. 
you know, it's not like it's not like I'm about to become an all harp drinker, but uh, I think I, I think I set my expectations uh, low enough where they came over the bar. You're right. There is like a little uh, a little lemony shot there right at the end. I would rather have that than the <laughs> than the active lifestyle beverage that we tried uh, oh, on a previous podcast. Yeah, I would have to say that we would do that. Yeah, I don't know if this doesn't qual- this probably doesn't qualify with the carbs and everything like that, but right. there's definitely more flavor in there. So. But yeah, that's it is what we thought it was. <laughs> what we thought it would be. Actually, it's more than you thought it, it would be. It is. It's actually, so, yeah, it's better than we thought it was. Yeah, okay. All right, that's where we'll make an edit. Okay. Ah, Andy very gave me so good. much fun. He, he drinks a lager drink. He sings the songs that remind him of, of the, the good, good times. times. He, he sings, sings the songs that remind him of the Aren't they times. Irish or something? Times. Too? Are they Irish? The Scottish? Yeah, I don't know. European of some sort, though. <laughs> it's all European at some all point. All European. Uh, yes. He drinks a whiskey drink. He drinks a vodka drink. We could have a podcast that does that one. I guess we should have gotten another glass. A lager drink and then a cider drink. Drink it down. Oh, sorry. I didn't pour you that much. Sorry. I don't even know what the alcohol is on. I didn't pour the whole thing. 11.2. That must be a European thing. That's the Duchess oh, as well. Oh, I, I was like, alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's 11.2%. Uh, Drink that yeah, down. St. Guinness, St. James Gate. Pilsner style. 4.5%. Sorry, okay. I found it. I no, think, I think a, you might have said that earlier, too. Uh, it, it was about the Smittics. I saw that. <laughs> okay. He's a locker drink. He drinks a cider drink. Oh, he sings the songs that remind him of the good times. All right. Don't cry for, for me, me next, next door neighbor. I was going to be like, that's a sip and drink. Yeah, it is kind of a sip and drink. Not necessarily. Yeah, at 11%, it would be a sip and drink. Yeah. Yeah. Four and a half percent would 11% be. 11% harp lager. Man, that would be. <laughs> I don't, although I know there are a lot of people who do come in and they're like, how, many, how much alcohol is in that? They, they, they want to get their, their dollars worth in their alcohol percentage. So a little simpler times. Mm, simpler times. Yeah, that's a little Almost higher. Almost a there. baby beer. Do you guys still have simpler times? Well, oh, yeah. What no, was the one you got rid of? There was something I used to joke about, like quoting you, like, oh, we don't have that anymore. Was it the La Playa? La Playa, yeah. Okay, no, we don't I have think that that's what anymore. it was. All right. We do have simpler times, and uh, the bosuns are still big. Uh, and yeah, so. Okay. Oh, yeah, those. We can use these, I think. Are you fine? What, yeah, I'm fine with we that. We know what Guinness tastes like, so. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. All right, we're going to grab uh, the second part of our uh, <laughs> beer combo here, of that's course, right. the Guinness draft that we were just talking about. Once this again, one, like you said, we've had these before. We're just yeah. kind of reacclimating, bef- and to see them taste them separate before they before they become one. Oh, and this is nitro, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'll pour a little more in mine so people can maybe see. Oh, that's cool. This is actually pretty neat. I think you can see the how the nitrogen works, where you can it slowly uh, separates, I guess, or comes together. I don't know, one or the other. But anyway. It's pretty neat. I always used to, this uh, for many, many years was the go-to uh, beverage during Bears games. We used to get the Guinness draft as we were first getting into <laughs> beers and things like that. That was one of the smoother, tastier things that we could find. And also, once again, this comes in at like 4.4, 4.5%. Yeah, it's a session it's not, beer too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, People think it's darker and it, it tastes a little heavier that it's, it, or the, there's a common misconception that it could be higher in alcohol, but it's actually not. <clears throat> it never says on there. Alcohol? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I don't believe it ever says on the can. We've had to do some research, but we did, uh, if you go back into the archives at aboutbeverages.com years ago, we did a session beer podcast. Actually, we did that with Eric Green, I we think, did. Uh, from Dragoon, um, and this was one that was included in that. So, Yeah, it was, it was in that same range, and interestingly enough, uh, so since this is 15 ounces, guess what? This is 1.25 servings. Oh, 1.25? Yeah, like really, like really, you're doing 1.25 servings. <laughs> kind of silly for your nutritional information. That's right. You it's sure? never quite as dark as I always think it's going to be. Right. It's like yeah. it's definitely more like mahogany, like kind of brown. Yeah. Like sort of that yeah. color range. Mostly roasty. Most yeah, just a little roasty, a little bread, a little bit of bready and going on in there. Maybe but a hint of chocolate in there. Maybe just a tiny hint. But yeah, mostly like just roasted malt kind yeah. of flavor, aroma. Yep. It's just a smooth, 
a little sweet on the back, a little something on the a little back. A tangy kind of. Yeah. A little tang in there too, which Just, I kind of don't remember. Like I haven't had Guinness in like a very long time. Yeah. So that's a little tang in there that I'm always not quite expecting, but it's nice. Yeah. The roastiness. Right. Smooth. Um, yeah, it's just, it's good. I used to, they do others b- besides this who do the foreign export stout and, uh, and that one's always, that's got a little more of that like almost chicory type punch to it. Yeah. I would um, agree. not as, not as smooth, tasty, but not as smooth. So, all right, let's, uh, we're actually going to go grab, uh, some fresh beers and we're going to put together these half and halves right now. So we'll be right back. All right. Antarctic wildlife. How is it going? How are you? Good to see you. Did you get, did you get your run done? Did it make it happen? Did you get your, your, your presage done? It's Antarctic wildlife. Antarctic it's wildlife. All, it's all the things. It's penguins mostly. Okay. All right. I mean, that's what I think. It did look like a thinking. Starbucks. Yeah. A Starbucks drink. That was oh, <laughs> the nice foamy head. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never quite ready for that. Like, I'm always thinking this is like more like, I don't know if they've just changed the recipe over the years. Probably not. There's some story that I think uh, this, the guy that owns uh, or that started at St. James Brewery or whatever, like I think he signed like a 9,000 year lease or something like that. Oh, there's, yeah. So the brewery is like, yeah, they yeah pay like a really small amount or something yeah. ridiculous on that. But, and two, this beer is not vegan because I believe it uses whale bladders or something or it used to at what? one time there was this thing about, yeah, if you look up Guinness, uh, Guinness, I think it's called what? Isinglass or something like that. Yeah, there's a there's a big thing about that. Now I'm gonna have to look this up. We're gonna look it up to the interwebs. Is Guinness vegan friendly? Oh, yes, okay. I knew so they're okay. So now they're different. Okay. Oh, okay. So they no longer use that. You know, I think that's what I taste in here is the lack of ice and glass. We, yeah, we used to like that ice. I know. Glass. We looked for that. Uh, made the ingredients Guinness draft extra stout and for oh, so they're all vegan friendly now. Okay. okay. So what is ice and glass? See, it's now official. I've, now I've got to look up what this is. Ice and glass. What is ice and glass? A kind of gelatin obtained from fish, especially sturgeon, and used in making jelly, glue, etc., and for clarifying. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is a clarify. Okay, because there, when we do some of our IPAs, that used to be one of the things you could do as a clarifier. You could add uh, some different ones, and most of them were fish bait. Okay, all right. I, that rings a bell. Okay. Yeah, okay. that little roasted note at the end does kind of... Chicory is kind of a good description on there. because that that's, that's what it always reminded me of. Yeah, the, no, that's a really good call. A roasted root. A roasted Not root. Not to be confused with, confused with a rusted root. All right. That's, I'm going to go grab you other, on your way. some cold beers. He's going to get some beers. Entertain the folks. That's going to look extra cool because it's going to fill up and it doesn't even look like the glass is yeah. there. Okay, so I'll wait I, to I put that. Does. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's actually going to not be bad. Uh, I got to pour that first. Okay. You ready? Sure. All right. We're back. We have gotten uh, <laughs> the apparatus for making the beverage, and I even have a little bit of a stand so that I got I a hopefully, pedestal. Hopefully, everyone here can now see what we're about to do in uh, just a second. So, tell me about uh, this option. When you're making this beverage, you kind of want to make it a certain way, right? Uh, which is, you're we're going to pour the lager first. Right. And then you pour the Guinness afterwards. And it's if you pour it nice and slow, it's going to stay separated. And that's right. kind of the neat look to this uh, particular half and half, as, as they call it. You could do this with a bent spoon. That's the yeah, way that's, I've done it before. You yeah, bend the spoon. Yeah. You get the spoon way down in the glass. And then, like I said, you slowly. Pour. It's so right. tedious. Like, right. you just have to slowly pour. Uh, but you were actually given this as a gift. Do you want to talk yeah, a little actually, about this? Yeah, uh, actually, friends of the show and... Uh, um, Longtime friends actually got this for a for me for a birthday present. It's um, it's called a loggerhead. It's actually a, a turtle, and uh, it's also got a little uh, bottle cap opener on the side. And you can find these at Amazon and I think Bed Bath Beyond. Where and Total Wine, I saw Total Adam Wine, too. yeah. So, um, but uh, I had not used it yet. And when we were discussing this, I remembered I had it, and I thought, perfect, perfect time to to break it out. So. We are going to. Oh, you're even going to use the bottle cap. Might as function. well. Let's use it. Look in at all that. Of its options okay. There. We're so putting it through its paces. So it sits perfectly on top of an actual pint glass. And like I said, but I don't need this yet. You can pour this pretty much regular. Right. So we are making a half and half. And we're going to have to make two of these. So. Okay, good. You can see it. Perfect. That goes there. We'll see how this works. You're so going to see it live. So well, now, actually, if you I'm join probably us, probably still going to have to pour pretty slow. Like, I don't know. Where do you? I think just try to hit show the you where middle, to do it. I think. No, I th- yeah, I think you just try to hit the middle. I think. 
Does that drip it down slow enough? Okay, I think so. It's definitely staying on top. It's riveting. This is riveting television right here. Riveting We're television. It is definitely all. Well, it's, I think starting now. I'm, I'm seeing shadows. Shadows of light. Oh, now it's starting to, the bottom here is starting to get a little darker here. Yeah, and it's see slowly that, that starting settles to. settles a little bit there. May have poured too fast? I don't know. Maybe a little, but. I think I did pour a little too fast there. Well, we got another one to experiment yeah, with. Yeah, we'll have to experiment with the other one. Move that. Yeah, take that okay. one. I think there's like too much foam on there maybe too. See, this is the excitement of seeing all this live. You all see all the behind live. the scenes stuff? Yeah. And then you can watch the video again later. Who knows what I may edit this to? It may turn around right to, and here's my first pour. Like, it's I may say perfect. a line like that. Like, that son of a bitch, he's doing it right there. He went right to first pour. And if you were watching us live on most Thursday nights on twitch.tv slash about beverages, you would say, I know that's not true. I know I that know. was take two. Okay. You'd have the inside info. All right. Just in case I do an edit like that, I'm going to, we're just going to start pouring. It doesn't work quite as well with the. I don't think it works with the well. harp. Maybe it's slowly causing the color to change, but it's not really uh, doing its little its cool sunset. <laughs> yeah, it's like falling down way too far in there. And the foam, in theory, should be helping a little bit. Yeah, this is a. Uh... This device is not, I think a bent spoon works better. <laughs> At least when it comes to this particular one. Yeah, that's like literally just discoloring. Couldn't pour this any slower. Well, maybe that's the case. Maybe it is the, maybe the, the, the bass ale, maybe with its heavier yeast provides us with a, Perhaps. a little bit better. Who knows? That soggy fellow there. Okay. Yeah, that pretty much just like combined. <laughs> that that either either the lager being so much lighter, even though you should be able to do this, uh, or the uh, or the device itself uh, did not uh, make that go pretty. Because when you do this with a spoon, you bend the spoon, you put it all the way down in the glass, like pretty much almost touching the liquid, and then you're pouring like so that it hits that and just barely like you need to do it so slow. And that's even like when you're making a black and tan. So right, uh, it could have. Just been a little funky on that end. Well, should we at least taste it? Yeah, I think uh, we've got different ratios, I think. Mine's a little more Guinness, I think. It could be, yeah. Or the Guinness, but that's okay. be funny if that looked actually oh my god <laughs> i was like that worked that works any more ratio any more guinness ratio in there need horatio more ratio it's not bad it's like a smooth version of uh of, of those two things adds a little more flavor to the lager and uh yeah yeah that's good i think i usually like the black and tan better like I said, that uh, have not had one of those in a very long time, but that adds a little more maltiness to it. Right. Uh, not just even the look, but even even doing that, it's not like an easy process doing that pour. Yeah. Now back, I know back in the day, Bass used to be one of my favorite beers, actually. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. Therefore, it was a, um, yeah, a fan of, of that, you know, probably like in the 90s. That was always, I was like, ooh, Bass, you have Bass on draft? Oh, I'll have a Bass. But so maybe we just should have done that. But 
We, we ventured nice out. We tried something new. Well, it was nice to try something different, too. Like, I can't remember right. the last time I had a harp. And then, right. uh, like, being able to tie those two together, and it actually was a, a beverage yep. and, and everything else we are doing. But, yeah, it's, like I said, it's fine. If you if you like those two beers, you'll like them together. Yes, <laughs> one does not, like, make the other one disgusting or vice versa. Right, so. right. They don't, uh, yeah, cancel each other out or anything. Yeah, you can actually taste elements of both of them. So Yeah, and it doesn't make a huge improvement to one of the So, yeah, if you like those and you... For some reason, you had in the fridge a half a can of one and a half a bottle of the other because you couldn't finish them the previous night That's right. separately. You try it again. Pour them together <laughs> and try them again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if you're looking for other uh, recipes that actually go correctly, <laughs> uh, you may find them at our website at aboutbeverages.com. That is where we have been doing uh all sorts of things, recipes, videos, tastings, uh, all different manner of things for over a decade now, 12 plus years, uh, like going all the way back to originally just how to make a French press pot of coffee, our very first podcast. Very first one. Audio only, uh, how that one went. Uh, if you only want the latest videos and things that we have done, of course, a little more recently, definitely subscribe on YouTube. We'd very much appreciate that. And if you only want audio, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Anywhere you have a podcast app or a purveyor that you like, guess what? Search for About Beverages. You will find us there. Anything else? Don't forget the three pillars of social <gasps> media. You mean the two pillars of uh, half and half? The two pillars of half and half. Well, of course, don't forget those. Okay. But then there's the three pillars of social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, Twitter being the one we are most active on, and uh, we'll, you'll be able to keep up to date with what we have going on. In fact, tonight, before we started recording, I tweeted that we were going live on Twitch.sleevy, on Twitch.tv slash about beverages. <laughs> Gotta, it doesn't even matter because I'm like 90% that. sure I'm not even using this as a I podcast know, I, <laughs> because I'm not even like I think I this one's like not turning out. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. Just finish it anyway. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is an outtake. <laughs> <laughs> finish it up. Uh, in fact, tonight I tweeted. <laughs> uh, I uh, up Sleevey. Uh, Oh my God. But see, this is why the live show is great. That's true. That's true. You guys will get to see uh, it. This will still, all the whole thing will go up on YouTube. So it'll be in there. Oh in some my form. gosh. No. <laughs> Twitch. Um, sleevy. And Twitter, which is what we use most often. In fact, tonight, I. I can't even do it. <laughs> Back tonight, uh, I was. No, uh, I was tweeting. <laughs> I was tweeting. <laughs> um, about some things and some stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You don't have to finish. <laughs> I. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is the one we use most often. In fact, tonight I tweeted when we were about to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages uh, to let you know that we were going to be um, doing some St. Patrick's Day doing bullshit. Some stuff. Yeah, no, it just didn't work out. <laughs> it just did not work out. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we'll put everything back up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was a little depressed at the whole thing overall. So. Uh, I was too. When it, when the pour didn't work, that's when I was like, yeah. I'm not feeling this. One. Yeah, no, I was I was trying to go with that, and then I, and then when then when I said sleevey, and then I was like, yeah, I'm not really. And then you said that too. I was like, okay, yeah. you, we're feeling the same sort of thing. So, boy, uh, <laughs> if you tap it, they will come. That's not a bad tagline. <laughs> if you tap it, they will come. If you tap it, they oh, will come. Man. Critical hops over here. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, I even had the sweet pillar. Like I was like, I man, know, you I, got it all I gave, set. I gave the, I gave that the everything I could. Yeah, we both did. We tried. We tried. Twitch TV slash about beverages. Yeah. Where I, I tweeted. I wanted you to at least get through it because I was like, I don't want that to be an issue on the next one when we actually do. <laughs> the James all sending like everything. It's like that we can't speak. Oh no no no! That won't. I yeah. I think I was a little bit like it. It was trying to just stay focused. Uh, you know on getting through it but i was already kind of thinking oh, i don't this didn't this didn't go the way i think either one of us wanted it to so well, well at least right. it's not live son of a gun it is oh yeah oh wait it's fine it's <laughs> fine yeah no i think this is what actually then makes like for like funny if you're watching those like said because of something right. silly like that because there's podcasts now if you wanted to go through and scrub through those you're seeing you know, give it a shots that we haven't even put up yet. If you really want to watch them that badly, you can watch them that way, or you see right. the edited versions later on, like I said, any of that kind of stuff. Right. <laughs> the beer didn't want to give it a shot. Yeah. It's kind of about what it was there. Yeah. The beer, beer, uh, kind of, uh, took us down right there. 
And that was, yeah. When I went to the second one and it was still doing the same thing, it was literally just seeping. I was like, the logger's just not holding up here. Did, should we have waited until that head went down? Was that maybe? Should we have watched an instructional video? Uh, we've done this before. Though. I have I done many yeah. a time with the spoon. Yeah, yeah. And made a black and tan too. What? What? Whoa! 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 <laughs> um, uh, but uh, but yeah, no, that just uh, that's fine. Like, yeah. So, yeah, I wish that would have gone. <laughs> that was delirious. <laughs> so it's like, why is that working again? <laughs> I even brought the liquid up so high. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. It gives us a lot more time for uh, other things that we need to uh, other things that we need to discuss. Other things and stuff. Yeah. Things and stuff that. Oh, well, okay. I thought I would do it this way. I think now this you're how talking. It be. You're yeah. surprising me there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cheers to that. I'm not going to not drink this. It's the not bad. The team fight tactics story of the week. The week. Um, what would that story be? Well, let's see. Um, they've. Uh, <laughs> well, that's what we want to drink too. Um, the story of the week would be that I actually had gotten back up to uh, flat two. No, I was on my way back up to Plat 2. Up to Plat 3, slid back down to Plat 4, and I'm in the middle the middle ground there. Uh, middle they, ground of they, what? The, uh, middle ground of Plat 4. Okay. Yes. That's um, pretty good, though. They, uh, had, um, they had some uh, some uh, some nerfs and some buffs and some some uh, builds that changed a little bit, so uh, we've been experimenting using some some of those new things. And, uh, and uh, yeah, still still having fun, still, still moving right along there. Nice. So, yeah. Is it good to wait until the head goes down? That's not for most people, no. <laughs> no it's usually at least depressing. Uh, whoa, for half, yeah. least, it's depressing for at least half the party, <laughs> and it's shameful for the other half. After, if after four hours, you should consult the medic. Yeah. yeah, if the head doesn't um, go down after four hours, in before they no, had it upside what, down. I know you're joking. Yeah, no, I have seen enough pictures and done this enough times. <laughs> the lighter one goes first. I don't know why. It kind of almost doesn't make sense, but it's always on the. The bottom. lighter, well, because the the Guinness is the nitro and it's lighter. Yeah, uh, so that's you what you think it, about the darker being settle. heavier. So you think it'd be yeah, it's the but because yeah. of the nitro, uh, the bubbles in there. But yeah, that was the one thing I was thinking about too. Is that should it have been? But is that you wish my stage name was Nitro Bubbles? Nitro Bubbles. I yes, knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Was there any like exciting matches this week, or did you have one that like particularly was frustrating or? Have you found a new build that you really like? Oh found- yeah, I'm enjoying. Uh, I'm enjoying a, a few uh, different. There's one now, or a, a couple that have moved up to the to the S builds, and they involve like two or three different or three different traits, and you can kind of actually have fun with those pieces. You don't have to build them exactly how they recommend. Oh, okay. And you can still have nice. some success. So very cool. Nitro bubbles is actually my alt. <laughs> Stop doxing <laughs> me, <laughs> uh, Devo. That's one. Nitro bubbles. Nitro bubbles. Nitro Bubbles, Private Eye. That sounds like some sort of like kids show or something Nit- like that. Nitro Bubbles. Like part of the Backyardigans or something like that. <laughs> oh, Nitro the Backyardigans. My Backyard Where are your friends? The Backyardigans. Hmm. <laughs> Nitro Bubbles. My Bubbles. Bubbles! Bubbles. Bubbles. Um, what else? Yeah, a little Backyardigans reference, of course. Yeah. Always good. So, pitchers and catchers have reported. Pitchers and uh, I think the rest of the team have reported now, too. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's usually within like a week or so now, right? Yeah. Is pitchers there talk of fans being allowed in the stadium? Have you started seeing some, some scuttlebutt I think about so, that? actually, because um, Pocket, through her work, could have gotten, I think, gotten tickets to a spring training game. So, okay. I think they are. I don't right. know what the actual rules are. I wonder what uh, the separation space is and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Nitro Bubbles, the roughest, toughest detective teddy bear the Toy Store has ever seen. <laughs> Nitro Bubbles. Yeah, it's like it, Teddy Ruxpin and Nitro Bubbles together at last. Diva, can you come with a recipe that could be named Nitro Bubbles? Oh, oh okay. Okay. The, the challenge has been thrown down. The gauntlet has been thrown. That's interesting. Yeah, I was wondering what they were going to start to because it's going to be a supposedly they're at least going to try a full season, right? Right. Yep. Are they? <laughs> they're not like getting in front of like other people for vaccines, are they? Like they're not doing that, are they? Like baseball teams and stuff. You haven't seen anything about that, have you? That I have not seen. Okay, no. I was hoping that that was not a thing. Yeah, I would I wouldn't think so. I you know I didn't know. It keeps auto-correcting no. your name, Debo. You're not wrong either way. Debo or Debo? 
I still read it as Debo, actually. It's funny, until she said that, yeah. I didn't. With one E, but a silent Q, which is kind of uh, interesting that they actually use a silent Q these days. One E. Looks like two E's. I think because probably it's because of Twitch. Is that because of Twitch you had to spell it that oh, way? Oh, okay. Is that one of those weird things? I don't okay. hit the microphone. Um, yeah, I was wondering about that if they were, because I started getting stuff from the Arizona Diamondbacks. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Uh, okay. uh, I started getting stuff from the Arizona Diamondbacks. It seemed like it was just spring training stuff. So I was like, wow, I wonder if Bank One Ballpark is actually going to have like games. Or oh, if yeah. Gonna, if they do, like what is it going to be? What are the, the yeah. occupancy and yeah. all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Because if, if you could actually get tickets and if they actually made the ballpark like a lot less seats and options, if you had tickets, it'd probably be the best experience you've ever had. Oh, yeah. Because you'd have <laughs> a lot of room. You'd have a lot of space. You'd have yeah. a lot of less people being like jerks. The food concession would be yeah. easy to get together. In a weird way, it'd actually be great. <laughs> well, it's funny. Like I was hearing Dan Patrick and I didn't hear his full talk about this, but he was talking about how, you know, people are going on planes and flying in this, even when they're spaced out in this contained area. St- that the biggest like, thing is you're in a contained compartment. Yeah, but bad. he's like, but going to an outdoor sporting event, he's like, should be, in theory, a lot safer to do to do that. Once again, as long as you're, you know, every probably still having seats. to have a mask or separate yeah, or something. Right. Like if you're not eating or right. whatever. Like, yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, it gets to a point. But at least, at least when that starts, maybe some of our family will be vaccinated. Maybe that'll be the balance. Like, yeah. Have you have you heard any more uh, through work at all? No, I like haven't that? heard. They've said you can. Uh, different things have come in like from, uh, but our, our HR is in California. So, and I think it, they were talking about, you could check through Walgreens and check through CVS, okay. but, um, but then I've heard that no, it's still not, not to us yet then. So CVS had something here locally, but it was only like one CVS or whatever. And it was like, you still had to be over 65 or right. whatever. Cause like I saw, but that's like slowly kind of coming down and I've heard April, I think, or something like that is supposedly when it's supposed to start opening up more. So fingers crossed for everybody. That's still going to be an absolute nightmare once that does open up, unless they slowly keep doing it by ages or whatever. I mean, that's going to be, all, but at least, at least it's finally getting out there. Right. Right. Slowly working its way. Well, that was depressing. <laughs> You know, sometimes we have things that are we're going to do as podcasts, and they turn out to be so much better mm. than we had ever anticipated. Whether that's the beverage is great or the the conversation, we is just did one that I just talked about. Uh, yeah, that one was one that, that I yeah. would have, I would have thought, oh, we're not going to use that. And this one I had definitely had higher hopes for, and just yeah, didn't quite work out. And then I sealed it with. Uh, <laughs> you didn't seal like honestly, before you even did that. I was like, I'm going to go through the motions, but I'm 80 percent sure that I'm not going to probably <laughs> yeah. want to use this. Just. Not, not just because of editing, but I was just like, yeah, it's not poured. And then people are like, they don't know how to pour black. Like it right. turns into that whole thing. Right. It's like if this, and not like said so the lot, like so this will go up in an archive, like on the live show, like said, so, cause it's funny. Like said so that, you know, this didn't work or whatever, right. but it's not the featured thing. When it turns into, this is the featured 10 minute thing. Someone sits down to watch right. and then you screw it up or like it doesn't work because of right. whatever. Then that's when it's like the you open yourself up to. Yeah, yeah. And that's when, so these guys don't even know how to pour beer. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, God. A Frenchman walks into a bar with a cat on his shoulder. The cat is wearing a little baseball cap. Hey, that's neat, says the bartender. Where did you get that? France, the kitty says. They've got millions of them. <laughs> is that the night? We, we're still waiting on the nitro bubbles recipe. Yeah, I haven't seen that recipe come through I yet. I haven't done it yet. No, yeah. he's working on it. He's, he's deflecting. He's deflecting he's with jokes. He's deflecting. He's deflecting with He's deflecting with, with, with jokes. jokes. Yes. Deflecting with jokes. <laughs> oh my god. Nitro bubbles. Nitro bubbles. I do like that. Where was it? It was up here further. We need to write that down. Where was it? Oh, there it is. If you tap it, they will come. <laughs> a little huh. picture of Steven Spielberg or something like that. I'm like tapping a beer. Is already a recipe for nitro bubble? It's a drink. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, Pocket was looking for food. I could make some sort of like, uh, I don't know, like when, when they make the, uh, uh, like the deep fry stuff where they use, uh, you know, seltzer water and stuff in it where you make like a, what kind of like, uh, like if you're doing fish and chips and stuff like that, sometimes that batter you'll actually use, like I said, you make like a tempura batter or oh, whatever, okay. as opposed to like something a regular carbonated. Like yeah. And that has carbonation yeah. in it. That could be like yeah. some sort of nitro bubble tempura batter or something. Yeah. There you go. I helped you out. I saved you out of that one. There you go. <laughs> Done. 
Um, <laughs> um, I guess should we grab the next beverage? I suppose. Yeah, I think we should move on. Yeah, let's let's move on from from this and, <laughs> and find something else to, to drink. Hopefully, this next one tastes good, <laughs> uh, and hopefully, it, it pours well. This one, thankfully, doesn't have to separate. As long we're as I can, waiting for as long as I can pour it into a Glen Karen glass, <laughs> uh, we're good. We're, we're going to be go. fine. We are going to be fine. We're going to be good. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to clean all this stuff up. We're going to grab the next featured beverage. Which, uh, if you want to know what that is, and you're here for the live show, you can always use the beverage command. It is the Jameson Caskmates Stout Edition. So we're going to try that in just a minute. We will we'll be see you in just a few. We're right back. Whenever you're ready, you let me know. I will hit the button. I will not hit it before. You can hit the button whenever you want, but not not Team yet. Fight Tactics story. I think oh, this happened last we? time. It did. It popped up again. Can you override it with Pete? I think. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, but there's no audio. Go okay, so we're safe there. So I think what I need to do. Oh, it just went away. Perfect. Oh, good. That'll oh, perfect. work. I gotta find out what that is. That was when I was fixing things that day. Like for some reason, that one's like a little bust. Oh, I think I know what it is. Is it still, do I know what that is? Don't I have something called, there it is. That's why. It doesn't, it didn't turn off. So then it automatically, when you come back, it always brings up everything that you say is live or to oh, be able to be looked okay. at. So that's okay. what it is. Yeah. All right. At least we don't have the uh, audio issue we had last week. So that's good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Everybody was saying, <laughs> yeah, can't hear you. Yeah, I can't hear you. I figured, <laughs> got that solved. That part solved. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So we're doing that. What do I need to know about this? That's no, that doesn't say who. Let's say on here. Um, who are the brewery is? 8D Brewing. Okay. I don't know if you want to mention that. 8D Brewing. 8D? Yeah. As in like 8? <clears throat> yeah, 8D. They're not, you know, they don't have quite the exciting brewery names, I guess, over in Ireland. 8D. Oh, yeah. no. That's Do the IPA from 7D. It's down the road. Got, yeah. 7D is not available? It's down Can on I, Wilshire. What about 8D? <laughs> what about Let's 8D? use 8D. Let's okay. use 8D. Yeah. Okay. Unless there was a clever way of saying 80. Oh, maybe. 80. 8D. I mean, they separated out. They put an eight and then a D. Oh, eight But that D. could be, though. Okay. Okay. Eight D brewing. Ah, Christ. Do you think they're going to think it's 80? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Everyone I just uh, lost everybody. Wait, Everybody's yes. gone. The accents. Ah, uh, the accents. They're not they very the accents. correct anymore. Or the demon voice. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. No. You no. have a new effect. Yeah, we could do it. Oh, I have it on the other one, though. We're not going to do it, but i got to put it back on the other. I always got to be ready with the demon voice. There it is. Just in case, it's there. I could. No, I won't. Do it's it. not happening now. No, it's not. Okay. No. If that, if you ever see that light is on right there, then then you need to tell me. Then people will probably. You need be... to immediately stop what we're doing and tell me. Cause... Well, I would bet uh, uh, yeah. our, our listeners will probably be yeah. like, "You're scaring me. <laughs> You're scaring. You're frightening me." Um. Yeah, check that out. See if there's anything, uh, <laughs> if it says. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, we're going to record another podcast. We're just looking up some final information here. Uh, this one is going to be about, it's Jameson Irish Whiskey, and then they actually age it in stout whiskey, in stout barrels. Uh, so it's barrels that had uh, Jameson whiskey in them at one point. They send them over to this 8D Brewing, and then that place sends them back. Uh, it specifically had a stout in there that they were aging. They send them back, and then Jameson re-ages their whiskey in these uh, barrels that have, you know, kind of absorbed some of the stout that was contained within. Uh, this Caskmates uh, edition, like I said, they've had several of them. We reviewed the IPA one. If you go back in the archives at aboutbeverages.com or uh, here on YouTube, if you are subscribed, you can go and check out there. Uh, it's, it's definitely from a while ago, so quality probably not quite as great, but it's still good information. Uh, but that was the IPA edition, which we did find that it had uh, some, some of those notes it did pick up in there, which was interesting. Uh, they also have a coffee one. I'm assuming it's a cold brew coffee that they do with this um, and, and some other ones. So Jameson at least doing some different things with their whiskey. 
So it's actually 8D, right? That's what I said. This comes in 8 to 8 degrees brewing. So do they mention anything about Jameson? They don't even show that they have a stout on there. Oh, that's not it. When I, when I typed in 8D brewing, that's the, the logo looks literally like that at 8 and a D. Huh. Irish Distillers acquires 8 degrees. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, maybe, maybe it is because they it says it says actually Jameson bought this place. Oh, okay. Eight Degrees Brewing, so that's probably them. So it's they're not it's not really their friends. It's our other company, Eight Degrees Brewing. Okay. Um, well, hopefully they're all friends. They hate each other. Jameson Caskmates has had exceptional success since its launch, selling almost two hundred thousand cases. This is kind of the plan. So yeah, Eight Degrees. We've joined the Irish Distillers family. Eight Degrees Brewing. Okay. So, the right and it actually is saying that, uh, all right. So it looks like that cast and they even show the picture of the cast mates there too. So it okay. must be eight degrees. That's okay. weird. Why would they not? Mm. Is that an Irish thing where just, if you throw up a D it means degrees? I don't know. Okay. I could just be dumb, a dumb American. It's very, so we'll very possible. Eight degrees brewing. Eight degrees brewing. Okay. Yeah. Make a note of that. Take a letter. Yeah, we'll we'll finish that, uh, Mimi. We'll we'll finish that uh, letter after lunch. Where do we leave off at? To whom it may concern. Yeah, I like the sounds of that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's from Cheers. We just watched last night, where he gets to they bring him. in. He's like, I have input. I have input for you, Evan. He's like, oh, he's like, a... and if you don't like my input, he's like, let's just shake hands and we'll walk away. <laughs> I, it was coming up to that. It was one of those ones. I'm already smiling. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> talking about well, because he's reading it. And Sam's talking to him, and then he look. says, "And if we don't, and it's within, it's like a good, it, it's perfect because it's not super fast, but yeah, it's, it's within like a two second beat. Yeah. All of a sudden, he just puts out his hand. And yeah. He's done. Uh, what, what the hell is his name? Tom Skerritt. Yeah, we watched that one the other day, and then we saw the one uh, with uh, where he's like, my dream is to carry a rich man in his pajamas across the <laughs> some of like that's kind of." Uh, it was it was pretty fun. I'm still searching for that episode. Lucky Will if you're here. Lucky bees? I'm still looking for that episode. I will find it. I will find it will and surprise you with it sometime with a clip if you are here. Um, yeah, I think we're ready, right? <clears throat> um, okay. Oh, since we were doing a podcast, we got to take all the things. <gasps> Wait, not that one. We're gone. We need that one. Maybe we should have. Especially for the last podcast. <laughs> after the last podcast. Yeah, actually, after the last podcast, this is probably what you guys should get. We're going to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, man. Move that out of the way. So since we're rolling. Whenever we're ready, I guess, right? Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> okay. We're rolling. We're hating. We're going to... Do some Irish whiskey. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> this is us thinking about what we want to say. <laughs> really not. <laughs> Someone will finally get something that will just be. <laughs> just be right I had there. the last one and we didn't even wind up using it. I know. Do you want to use uh, that one again? I don't even know what it was. I don't either. Oh, no. I said that we were. Um, <laughs> that, that, that we planned. And... Yeah. Go ahead and use that. <laughs> we've actually we've actually thought ahead and planned, and we have a yeah. a holiday relevant po yeah, yeah sort of podcast. But do but I don't know want. if this is necessarily. Do we want to tie into that anymore? In St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, I mean, in honor of St. Patrick's yeah. Day, we're gonna have a yeah okay. So last week at the end of the podcast, we were discussing what we wanted to do for this week, and we were realizing in the next few weeks it was St. Patrick's Day. That's right. It's and we said, you know what? We should do something at least to tie into that, you know, for who knows, just at least tie into something for the first time in our lives right. about beverages. Uh, and so we came up with a, a few different things. And uh, this is the one uh, hopefully will be uh, successful. <laughs> <laughs> we have a uh, 
very unique edition of a classic Irish whiskey for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are AboutBeverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Jameson Irish Whiskey Caskmates edition, uh, aged in stout beer barrels from 8 Degrees Brewing. Yeah, this is, uh, we did a little bit of research uh, right before we started podcasting. If you were watching the live show, you got to see all that live. That's right. Uh, it's like said, riveting, if riveting television. <laughs> riveting television. Uh, if you're only watching uh, this podcast right mm-hmm. now, then you just get the uh, straight facts, which is uh, eight degrees. They were purchased at some point by Jameson uh, due to, like I said, uh, they were working together on these cask mates right. that was going very well. So now they are part of all of that. The parent uh, company that owns Jameson yeah. is called like Irish Distillers. Or there like you that. go. Yeah, yeah. And now uh, 8 Degrees Brewing is a part of that family as well. Yeah. So the way this works, and we have done previously one of these Castmates editions, we did the IPA version, which if you go in the archives at aboutbeverages.com or just search here on YouTube for that, uh, you will find that podcast. Uh, Jameson ages their whiskey like they normally would. This is the classic Jameson with Irish whiskey. They age it. Those barrels then go off to the brewery. That brewery then has a beer. At that time, it was an IPA. This time, it's actually a stout. They age that stout in these barrels. When they are done with it, they send those used stout barrels back to Jameson. Jameson takes their original recipe, Irish whiskey, puts it back in the barrel, and it gets aged again. So confusing. I know. It is a little bit confusing. I'm glad somebody else is in charge of that. Cause... Hopefully, it's not quite as confusing on our palate. So that's what we're... No. <laughs> uh, I got Give this... us a little something to think about, but uh, you know, but that, but that'll be good. I got this last week. It was uh, around $25 for the bottle. That's what it seems like all of these go for. They have several other additions besides the IPA and the stout. They also have a cold brew one, which I believe uses obviously coffee. Uh, And I think there was another one. I cannot remember the name of it. If you remember or have had any of these uh, in the comments below, definitely uh, let us know what you think or if you uh, are interested in these. One of the first things I was wondering is, was there going to be a huge color difference? I haven't... I don't recall right off the top of my head what regular Jameson looks like, but I think it's a little darker. I, I would actually, um, I have some regular Jameson uh, in my bar okay. uh, and it is a little bit like, yeah, definitely regular Jameson's a little bit more golden. Uh, Cause this is color. more, this is actually from the pour. You could actually confuse this for a bourbon, uh, a lighter mm-hmm. colored bourbon. Cause it does have some of the, a little bit of the red, uh, a little bit of the orange note to that, as opposed to that lighter, which, yeah, like I said, I think, uh, the classic Jameson is lighter. I'm like, you're, you're confirming that cause you have some. So. When we sit back, that means we're thinking about it a little bit. <laughs> this all gets edited out, but you get to see it if you're watching the live show. That's right. You get to see the thought process. I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the jury is still out. It's really assailing the nostrils. Yeah, it is a little bit. It's awesome. Okay, I think I've I think I've got it. Okay. Okay. You good? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. You just opened it. So you definitely get a little bit of that concentrated alcohol heat. Yeah. I, w- I would agree. Aroma. Especially at 80 proof. I was mm-hmm. a little, little surprised, but yeah, it's, it's more cause I did just open it. There's a, there is actually a, to me, a hint of smoke and a little bit of sweet vanilla. Um, I don't necessarily, there's nothing that screams like stout to me per se, no. but it, I think this may, and maybe it's cause you put it in my head. It's hitting more of those, like kind of the high Irish whiskey, like a little bit of fruit that you always get to me. I always get out of uh, the ones that I have had, but then there is a lot of like thoughts of bourbon in there. Like, yeah. so, like you're no, talking I about agree. the vanilla. Um, like I said, that little bit of maybe a little hint of smoke. I'm getting even a you know, little bit of that kind of uh, like burnt, sweet in there like burnt right. caramel burnt like so that yeah. make me think of just like oh this smells like a really good like into that some sort of bourbon blend or something like that or right. maybe if i didn't know i was like oh is this a bourbon that was finished in some sort of you know port barrel or something like that that was adding that other kind of fruit note but it smells very good yeah 
I okay. like it. I was ready with a reaction, but it wasn't like an amazing reaction. Mm. <laughs> like, or it, wasn't, okay. it wasn't something that I was going to have a lot. It was like more of like okay. a one sentence reaction. I was like, that's not enough because that's going to turn into a lot of stops and fits and starts. Okay. I wish more people did stuff like this. Like, I wish there was other bourbons that did yeah. stuff with, you know, beer. Um, I don't know how well it would, would play out, but it would be interesting, yeah. uh, you know, at least in a, in a finishing, uh, like I said, uh, situation. It, it, that's probably more stuff we should do. You want <laughs> I was, okay. I didn't know. I just had an idea about, I yeah, need, I need a tiny sip and then. And it became bourbon. It is very, it's, mm. it's a lot, it's sweeter to me. Yeah. There's a sweetness to it. That's a little, that's not bourbon sweetness, but it does actually have some, some bourbon qualities to it. I wouldn't necessarily pick up on beer, but maybe no. the, maybe there's something like some residual from the malt or something like that, that has added that sweetness to it. And a little bit, it's got actually a little bit of body to it as well, I think. I don't yeah, it has a little more viscosity than I, than I thought yeah. it would. There's a little bit, a bit there. Um, it's not overly heavy, but yes, there's more than I thought. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of what I got in the nose. I'm kind of missing some of the smoke, but I'm getting more of the sweetness. Uh, yeah. That little bit of fruit is still there. I'm still getting uh, like that burnt caramel kind of, kind of note. Yeah. Uh, I'm really liking it, actually. I got a little spice on the front of my tongue as well. Yeah. That's not super hot on the, on the taste now. No, no, um, not at all. There's a little bit of warmth, but, you know, but. It just made me think I would I would like it if more places would do things like this. If it not like if, if you know, here, like I said, for bourbon and whiskey here in the U.S., uh, try something unique like this. You know, everyone's always doing port finishings, and all these different things. It'd be interesting getting more barrels back uh, from other breweries and, and doing this kind of this kind of thing. Yeah. You, al you always usually get the, the reverse, which we just when we were out just of had one bottle yeah. recently, yeah. Uh, we went and Dragoon did a like I said, a local southern Arizona brewery Dragoon. They did a, one of their Nueve anniversary stouts. They aged it in the Buffalo Trace uh, barrel and then brought it. And it's just amazing the different flavor right. complexity you get that way. Right. So the thing I don't know when I drink this, I don't know what the original stout tasted like. So I don't know how much I'm getting. Oh, at. right. I can actually get back out of that. Right. So my, my thought process is if someone like, you know, off the top of my head, like, like a, like a stone or uh, something like that, how if they make one of their Russian Imperial stouts, that's very over the top, right. very robust, right. had that aged in something like that and then brought back to some sort of bourbon barrel and you did a finishing in that, maybe that would bring out a lot of character or at least a little bit more. And I, I think that would be very unique and interesting. I would yeah. love it if someone tried that. And if there is a bourbon or whiskey out there that's been done, right. leave a comment below. Like, so, you know, know, we only you know, can see, you know, what we have locally, but let us know if there's someone else that's done that reverse process here in the U.S. Uh, and and had some success with it. I would love to try one. You think but there this has is really to good. be, but, but maybe not. You would think. The only thing, probably, actually, you know what? As I state all that, you're how does that work? You're only supposed to use, especially if it's the original whiskey barrel. They're only allowed to use them once here in the U.S. And then they have to, like, oh, that's why then know. they go over there. Oh, so okay. that's maybe why that they do port fit like other because they can use other barrels but not the original. So okay. maybe there'd be some way they could still work that out. Like if, if a, maybe right. if a stout was finished in a port barrel, they could pull that barrel back and get a little bit of both of those things. I don't know. Like I said, again, I, at least I'm glad I, I realized that I was like, right. oh, that's probably why it hasn't been done as easily directly. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, I would love to try something like that, but I, I still liked it. I think this is really good. It's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm enjoying that. I have not had a lot of experience with Irish whiskey, so yeah, more things either. you can leave in the comments, recommend an Irish whiskey. Yeah. That recommend. Is not from Jameson. <laughs> Cause that is the majority of things that I have had is either from them or some right. of the more popular brands. So I uh, right. would love to hear about more of those. Uh, and if you don't, uh, if you're not watching this on YouTube and you happen to be at our website at aboutbeverages.com, you can always leave a comment there. You can always email us at the uh, email address below. Let us know what you're having, things that we should be trying. We're more than happy to get in on that discussion and uh, bring those to the tasting table.
If you only want uh, the latest content, the latest videos, uh, subscribe on YouTube. We would greatly appreciate that. That is where you can find everything and uh, anything that we've had uh, probably in the last six or seven years, something like that. I forget where the where we stopped from just doing the podcasting videos? to yeah. you know, switch to videos. But anyway, yeah. it is all up on YouTube. Go check it out there. We've got a few different playlists of uh, not only our live shows, but some other whiskey videos and things uh, as well for you to enjoy. Only want audio? We got you covered there, too. We got you covered there, too. Spotify, uh, Google Podcast, iTunes, uh, I, iTunes Podcast, iPodcast. Did they call it something? I think they just call it podcast. Uh, all of those things, you can search for us there or any podcast network that you enjoy. Search for About Beverages. That's got to be everything. We that's, can't, no, we can't be anywhere else. Oh, no, no. We are in the three pillars of social media. Oh, that's right. Yes, being Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is the one we use most often. Uh, we'll let you know we're about to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages most Thursday nights. Uh, you can come on and join us as, and watch as we record. Uh, we also we're, talk about all kinds of different things during those uh, live stream sessions, but we do record our podcasts during that, and then we'll talk music we talk games we talk all kinds of stuff and speaking of games this guy's going to let you know what he's going to be doing throughout the week and when he'll be doing it um on on twitter but as we always say whether we like it or not you should give it a shot now that felt like a good podcast that felt better that felt good that was good felt like we were back there it's funny about two minutes prior to going into the ending i was already starting in my head to think Okay, here's what you're going to say. And I was like, no, just stop. Yeah. You're going to be fine. Yep. So I, I, we even, I, I, I even just, mix it up a little bit. I acknowledged it and just, just, just cut it right there. Nice. Don't feed right. into that. No, that worked. That worked. I love, this is really good. I actually like this. This is, this is good. It does make me think of bourbon. It's, yeah. it's got a sweetness. There's a weird, not weird, a, an unexpected sweetness to it. Yeah. Yeah. There's an extra, like, yeah, there's a, a different type of sweetness that you normally get out of bourbon there's definitely some bourbon notes in there and then there's just that classic what i think of as irish whiskey like i said that fruit which is i don't know what is the basis of fire is it corn is it corn still like i don't know there's like a different there's just a lighter like that's when i think of irish whiskey i always think lighter and fruitier and i get some of that still in here but then like you said it's those low notes that kind yeah. of come in that are nice yeah no that's there is like a a vanilla sweet to that too but I no, I like it. I think I think we were surprised last time when we tried the Jameson uh, IPA that we were like, oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so bourbon is made mainly with corn, whereas right. Irish whiskey is barley malt. Oh, okay, so that's closer to beer. Barley malt, sprouted Jamaican barley, and water. Bourbon is made mainly with corn. Canadian whiskey yeah. is commonly made with a blend of wheat, corn, barley, and rye. Interesting. The one Canadian whiskey, which I don't even think we wound up putting up that podcast. I still have it. I think, in the, like, I don't think I even put it up. Oh, which the one? Pendleton 1910. Oh, that's like, right. Ooh. Yeah, I've yeah. tried to find other people that tell me Canadian, and I have not had anyone tell me a good Canadian whiskey yet. I'm sure Crown they're Royal. out there. Let me know. We're gonna try another one as long as it's not uh, extremely expensive. <laughs> Basically, uh, malted barley. Okay, so they go more malted barley. Interesting. Okay. I almost bought, I still have a, I, I finished up, I think I talked about it a couple weeks ago. I finished up the Lagavulin 16 that I had. Oh yeah. And just really enjoyed it. I, I think yeah. I need to get, I want to get either another bottle of that Lagavulin 16, or I want to try like one of the other ones when we were talking about with Scott, a tap and bottle. And he pointed out a couple other, like there was like a, another special Lagavulin. Oh it yeah. Like, it was like a yeah. 12 year, but it was like, yeah. they're like the one that they do year, like a special. Yeah. I want to pick up another, like something like that. Cause I, I really... It's one of those, it, you know, I think I, it's, it's, if you went back and probably watched like really older podcasts, I probably said things about like, I don't know how people ever get like an entire bar of things. You, you know, you drink through that thing and then you go buy another <laughs> thing or whatever, right. like that kind of stuff. And like now I'm at that point where like I drink through something a little bit and then, um, you know, go through and I try, I, try that but then i pick up other and now i have accumulated different things and it's it's right. such a wonderful problem to have uh to be able to have those different things and that's what's nice is not having to pick one thing and knowing that's the only thing that you're going to drink whether it's a beer or a whiskey or like whatever it might be i make me soda or water you know right. not being limited to that one thing and having options it's such a fantastic because then you can buy those experiences that are maybe either a little more outside of what you normally would like or drink or only like sometimes like you don't have to 
well, that, that would be good sometimes, but I need to have this be, you know, you can have your things that you like to drink daily, but then, you know, it's right. nice having those ones that are kind of on the outskirts. You're okay and all is well. Oh, thank God all is well. <laughs> Ooh, man, oh, sweet. I, I feel it. You're teasing me. Like, I keep thinking you're going to write some tasting. Are we? Gonna, I know. I keep. Are you going to have the return of tasting? Ready. Is this going to be the week? I'm going to. Will the Jameson uh, week be the return of tasting? I don't know. The Jameson week. I'm just going to uh, just plagiarize some of Todd's stuff. <laughs> I'm going to start using that. <laughs> Todd's here right now. He's, like, you son of... He's a wonderful insurance salesman, too. Oh, wait. Not that Oh, not that Todd. Not that Todd. But okay. that Todd's good. He's good, too. He might have good stuff, but I don't know if he talks That'd about beverages. Fun. I don't know. Have you seen his insurance policies? They're right absurd. They are. They're so flowery. They're amazing. They're flowery. Roller coaster of emotions. If you hire only one insurance salesman, make it Tom and Peter, Norm Peterson. Um, I think I, so I'm watching. We're only like half, half to two thirds of a season into the uh, Rebecca season, beginning of the Rebecca season on Cheers. I'm, I'm really feeling like I think Cheers may have peaked at season five. Hmm. Like just and like as, as as not like that. There's not bits that aren't funny here and there, but as complete shows, or maybe to, and again, we're gonna keep watching. The, I've watched years many a time, so like <laughs> let it come from that source of knowledge. But like I have a feeling, like maybe as they hit season seven, it like go up a little bit. Like then they'll find their footing with all these because well, they had to like they're reformulate. Trying to, they're they're trying to reformulate. Yeah. They're trying to figure out like where she fits in. So right. I think there's a lot of that juggling going on. Because even now, halfway through the season, it's it's getting better with you know that dynamic. Like she's fitting in more with the gang, and they're kind of I think knowing how to write for her as a you know as a, right. as a cast member and everything else. Right. And they're getting away for, you know from certain things, but uh, but yeah. What else did you get with that on the taste? You got the vanilla sweet, and I know you. Do you get anything else from this? Yes, it's ugly. In the taste or in the aroma? Either one. What'd you get for the aroma? I went with the vanilla sweet, smoky fruit heat. Okay. I think that's what we had said. Yeah, I just, I, there was like also, like I think it tied, well, kind of tied a couple of your things together. It was like that, I got that burnt caramel kind of thing, like that dark. Oh, that's right. Like, which is kind of like a little bit smoky, a little bit of vanilla. Like it was like yeah. a little more than vanilla, but I've got all those things too. Yeah, the on the on the taste, it's just kind of like it's the sweet, it's the like it's it's still that that heavier caramel. I get a little bit of the fruit, not quite as much. I think I get more in the aroma than I do actually in the taste. Um, and then I mean, pretty smooth. Little yeah, spi little spice, little spice on the front of the tongue. Not near as much as on the second and third, like that last sip. I didn't get quite as much, but there was a little bit there. A little bit of spice kind of comes back through there. Okay. But yeah, that's just nice. It's just kind of yeah. easy drinking and like, you know. And what was that for the price? 25 bucks. For a 375. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> no, for a seven, 750 mil, 25 for bucks. For a two-gallon yeah. jug? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got the well. Uh, no, we'll put this. We'll probably put this podcast. We'll probably do some weird reverse. We'll put this one up. Then maybe we'll put the weller after that okay. or something. Just because we'll try and get up two Saint Irish Patrick's things. Day. Yeah, I guess. Might as well. Two Irish things? Two Irish things. What's the other one? This entire show. Oh, <laughs> this whole you need to do abomination some, a serious of a show. Hack job on this one. No, it goes well. I might edit out a little bit of stuff. But yeah, not too much. Just get some of that out of there. Cut get it, it out. Of out. Here. Cut it out. Cut. He took it out. <laughs> it took it it out out. Uh, well. Now always comes the discussion. What are we doing next? <laughs> what are we doing next? <laughs> next week? Not whatever, a theme. No themes. Whatever it is, it'll be better. <laughs> it will be better. Um, I don't know. Do you want to go? We have not done a wine feeling? in quite a while. Okay, well, I feel like a bottle of wine. Okay. All right. Were any of those ones in that list? Maybe pick something from there. Maybe? Oh, perfect. That'd be great. We can tie into that. Because you said there was a couple in there. You should yeah. do a beverage. <laughs> we could do yes. Don't make me hit Yay, the. I'll hit the button. The, oh, I'll gosh, do the demon. No. Don't do, make me do, do it. Do people know? No, no about I, that? I don't know. Find out, everybody. I could. Um, I could be a demon right now. I'm not going to. I'll I will. It. Uh, it's there if I need it, though. Yeah. What uh, do you have that? Um, I texted that to you. Dude. You texted it to me. No, I don't know if you wanted to. Uh, no, let I, me I see if there was it. something because there. I don't know if you had all of them. There was just like a, some of them, right? That were available. I can't remember. 
Um, anytime I see an article about Trader Joe's and alcohol, I always text it to my brother immediately. I'm like, do you have this? What is this? <laughs> and he's like, no, yes, no. Oh, she wants you to hit the button. Hit the button? I can't. Okay, it'll only be me. I'll just do that. We, be ready. Got to it. Be ready. Settle down, everyone. It, we can't do this very often because we got to make sure it's like you know exciting. Like maybe I'm actually. I think I'm going to make both of these things. I'm going to make these channel point redemptions. But you're going to get this one for free. That's actually a great idea. Glad you gave it to me, Raven. Thank you. All right, you should ask me a question about something. You want me to ask you a question? So, <laughs> Andrew, what did you think of the uh, the Jameson uh, cask caskmate uh, whiskey we tried? It, it was, was not as heavy, heavy as, as I thought, thought it was going to be. be. I thought, I thought, I thought it'd be a little bit darker. Still, still pretty light. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you're thinking you need a little more fruit out of something, which I did, did but it was a little bit. bit this burnt sweetness. I'm, I'm not sure. Is everyone freaking out? Are you waiting until around. you get a comment? <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit. <laughs> I wonder what. Maybe I don't people are panicking right now. They, they, might, might, be they might be. They may have just. Their brains may have just freaked out. They, they could, could have all exploded. I'm, as I'm, interviewing a, I'm interviewing a demon. Uh, <laughs> what? Wait, I don't understand. I, I mean, I sound, keep I sound different right now. I don't know what you're talking about. This sounds completely normal. The effects. <laughs> it's it's going to freak me out when I edit this later. I'll have forgotten about Interview with a demon, exactly. Don't make me do this. I cannot. That's right. Oh, that's I'm, a, a I'm a huge Guinness fan, but uh, sometimes, see, that's the thing. When you go even deeper with your own voice and then add it to the demon voice, but then you go up high. It, it sounds, sounds like, see, Keith can't hear any of this, so he has no it's idea what it sounds like. <laughs> I'm just hearing Andrew, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, he's All right, back. We'll take it off. I'm back now. Whew, he's next, back. Next. I blacked out there for a minute. Yeah. Is everything okay? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, it takes over your vocal cords, and it just yeah. changes you. What was that article called I even sent no, you? I, uh, like oh, top. see, I think this literally is it. So they have this at, at Costco. Oh, okay. The do, you know what, do you know what yours was going to cost? Didn't uh, I text it you was, yeah, it yeah, it was, it's like 30 or something like that. Oh, wow. If it's the same, that's a good deal. I think it then, was 40 or 50 at Costco. Maybe it wasn't the same. Okay. That looks like, I mean, it could be coincidence because the model is black. Oh, 10 best value red wine selling at Trader Joe's right now. That's right. We have the, we're looking up an article because we're going to do a red wine next week. Um, so Green we wine. have, you can choose from, uh, okay. I'll tell you the ones we have. Gambler's Flash. That we have funny. that. Okay. Um, Seven bucks. So we have that. You can try. <laughs> this wine puts the fun in funky. Yeah. If you want to try that one, we can. Oh, uh, we have good. the Oxty, the Silence Red Blend, which is uh, Spain. Wow, that's a high alcohol. 14.5%. Um, we used to have that Pinot, but we don't have it anymore. We don't have that next one. We don't have that one. We don't have the Fallen Bridge right now. There are Fallen Bridges. Did you say you had the Upper upper Eden? We did, but we don't anymore. Okay, that would have been interesting. The George de Bouffe you can buy at places besides Trader Joe's. Um, then, So I guess we only have the three right okay, now. Okay, what's the We've third one? We've got the, the Train to Tray, which is that last one. Ooh, Fallen Bridge, that looks neat. Yeah, we had it. I heard, heard good things about it. It's a Zinfandel. Oh, and we have that. Trend. I've had that. I've had the Angelo Roca and Figli Trent. Trent but you don't Trent. have that one right now. We have that, and oh. I've had it before. Eh. Um, it's good. It's a. Little, I remember, it, especially comparing it, trying it side by side with other red wines. It was sweeter. Oh, um, it was su sweet. Not a sweet wine, but sweeter than those. So I would be interested in uh, either the Oxy or the um, or the or the Gambler's Flash. I would say. Okay, I'm just reading their quick tasting notes, which I'll forget by next week, so it's okay. I would say the uh, the Gambler's Flash. Okay. The smoky mesquite thing, that sounds pretty good. Like the grill, that. Like talking about grill stuff, that sounds good. And then All I've right. got a bunch of beers. Like, I don't know if they're worth podcasting on. Like I said, I have the Duchess Chocolate Cherry uh, Stout, or Chocolate, chocolate Cherry Barrel Age Sour. Yep. I've got that. I don't know if that's worth podcasting on, but we could open with it next week. 
for sure because I'd yeah. I bought it thinking of tasting it with you. Actually, you know what we could do? We could kind of mix it up. The first one thing we could do, we could do the Lagunitas. I have that non-alcoholic Lagunitas. Perfect. So we'll do that sounds and then good. we'll do it into that wine. Okay, so we'll have a non-alcoholic beer next week. We'll have that wine, which sounds good. No holidays, no themes. God, Just no, we're apparently mix that's it up. a terrible idea. <laughs> no more themes till it sure was no time. more themes till pumpkin season. <laughs> and that is what it feels like. <laughs> It feels like a demon coming <laughs> you, trying to push away the pumpkins. No, nah, I've enjoyed it more. Uh, it's it's just funny. It is. Oh, all right. All well, right. thank you guys very much. Yes. <laughs> and we're done. So, so like two weeks in a row, I noticed like every time I'd say that, you wanted to say it. So then I, so this time I actually stop and then you stop too. <laughs> No, Careful, don't mean, let the demon that see that's what I'm saying. That's why like I I did a quick one there and now you probably won't hear it for like several weeks. Until I put that I'll put that up as a point redemption thing, like talk like a demon for five minutes or something like that. All right. People come into the stream while we're playing Destiny, I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. I have lost that. all those. Do you want to hear the, the other one I tested? This one's more fun, I think. This right? one's kind of more fun. All right, this is the other one. The other some of the other ones are kind of just like weird. They're not like really great. I have to putz a little more. But I have some, I know it's fine. It's fine. I need people to start using them on stuff. That's totally cool. It just can't be during a pot. If we're actually recording the podcast, I get to turn it off. But any other time, even if we're just having a conversation or I'm streaming, that'll probably be something. I'm not sure how many I'll use yet. It might be like a 50 or a 75 K thing, which I know you've got plenty, but that's fine. I want you to use them. I want you to have fun. All right. This is the other one. Just classic echo concert hall. You know, if we ever did one of our singing things again, if I ever feel confident about it, we could do one of these. <laughs> hello, my hello. friends, hello. hello. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the other one. I'll, I'll probably pick through those. I'll see if there's, there's 24 different ones on this mixing board that I have. Uh, and the other ones, like, they're just, some of them aren't super interesting. Like, I'll, I'll go through, see if I can find other good ones. But those are obviously the two easy standouts. Um, but yeah. That sounds good for next week. But again, yeah. yes, thank you guys so much for being here. We appreciate it that you guys come out Thursday nights. Uh, if you want to find us uh, anywhere and anything, uh, make sure you're following us on Twitter. Subscribe here on YouTube. We would appreciate that. And again, uh, audio versions of all of our podcasts are up on Spotify, uh, Google Podcast, iTunes Podcast, any of those places or any of your favorite podcasts. Just search for us there. You will find us. Yeah. The full live shows are only up on YouTube. I have not started putting this audio anywhere else because I didn't want to kind of clutter the market. Uh, but if people really want these only in audio form, uh, let me know. It's not that much big of a deal. I just haven't seen a need for it exactly. But uh, if people want that, I could totally do it. But again, uh, we'll be back here same time next week. Yes, same time. Same time next week. So 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. Because I don't think Ish, the time has changed I, yeah, yet. I get here around 5. Yeah, That's so right. We'll seven, that. Yeah, 7, 30, 4, 30. Yep. Uh, we'll be back here again for some more live shows, chat, yep. and good times. Hold yes, on, thank you all things. for joining us, for <laughs> taking that uh, journey with us. And, uh, and the, the, the journey we, we take every week. So thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate it. We we will I will see you next week. You'll see him tomorrow. You will see me tomorrow. Good night.